Skycast. We've got a great day planned for you. Going to the Minnesota football game here. Going to try to get uh, Floyd of Rosedale back. Um, and uh, it's going to be a great day. So stick with us. And uh, hopefully we'll get some, some good... Uh, some good shots here for a great podcast. Hey, you know uh, the story behind Floyd of Brazil? I believe it was uh, the settle of that between the two governors of each state. The Hawkeyes usually have won. Yeah. And today? And today all they're going to win. When Floyd comes home. All right. Thanks a lot. Take the back. We have a prize tag in the story side of that against them. Huge rivalry. <laughs> Floyd of Rosedale, the governor of Minnesota, decided whose well, name was Floyd. Whose name was Floyd. <laughs> decided to bet that Minnesota would beat Iowa in football game. That game, I'm not even sure what the score was. It was like 16-13. Yeah. What was the governor's last name? Floyd. Floyd. Last name is Floyd. Not Minnesota. Not first name. Rosedale's where he lived. Okay. And there was a Rosedale Farms in Iowa. Oh, cool. Is there? I think there is. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, the governor of Minnesota and the governor of Iowa, a long time ago, bet a prize pig. It was called Florida Rosedale. Right here. Here he is. Um, and whoever won the, con the football contest got to keep the pig for the next year. Well, finally the pig got old and died. I don't know if they knew him or not, but uh, yeah, whatever. And, and they made a bronze statue. It's about like this. That's a little bigger than that. It's about this long, about that tall, with a big case underneath it. And, a, and a, a, a wooden case that goes over it, like an old-fashioned um, sewing machine case with a handle. And It's got an I on one side and an M on the other. And uh, so that's I know. What do you know? <laughs> so I was a football manager here in the in the mid '70s with Bob Cummings, when and we were losing a lot. And in in '76 <laughs> we went up to Minnesota, and we hadn't won the pig for nine years. Wow. And so we won the game, and two of our coaches, uh, Bernie Wyatt and Bill Whistler, who had played here in the Rose Bowl years in the 50s, and they were the coaches I worked for, I turned in the locker room and I said, well, what about the pig? And, and Bill Whistler, who was like six foot six and weighed about 270 then, said, let's go. So the three of us walked the length of the stadium down to the other end, burst in and said, we want our pig now. So, of course, them being coaches, they didn't carry it. So my job, I got to carry this pig on my shoulder back to the Iowa locker room. Went down in, we all celebrated, yay, yay, yay. We carried it back out to put it on the bus, and all the, the, the parents and fans were there cheering and cheering. So we get on the bus, we get on the plane, we fly home, and I'm in the second row of the plane, take next to me. And we get to the airport in Cedar Rapids, and this is back before the new airport when there were stairs, there were no jetways, stairs and gates. Um, we show up at midnight, and there are 3,000 people waiting for us at midnight. So I'm thinking, this is cool, I'll get to carry this pig down here. He says, I think we should have the co-captains carry it. I'm going, no, no, no! So they carry the pig down, but I get to carry the box with the eye showing down right behind them. And so, so we, they're on the news. So we're on the news, and we get into the terminal, and everyone's cheering, and they, you know, the coaches give a little speech, and everybody leaves. And so I'm stuck with this pig, and we took him home Saturday night, had him all day Sunday in our living room. On our coffee table. On our coffee table, which I was stupid enough to not take a picture of. <laughs> and then 6 o'clock Monday morning, we brought him back to the rec building and nobody knew. Now so, they know. Now everybody knows. <laughs> now the story's out. Well, next week, check on the internet, HawkeyeCast.com, you may see yourself on the podcast. Hey! W. We are bowl eligible, baby. 
one more win and we should be going bowling for sure, hopefully in someplace warm. We uh, seem to have this uh, only one half a game can we play well, but it seems like it's been the right half. Um, the last few games, we won last week at Northwestern, didn't put out a podcast, so we want to cheer about that as well, a great game. Um, they're uh, at Northwestern on the road winning in the Big Ten, we'll take those whenever we can get them. And uh, beating the Gophers today, that was great. Wasn't it fun to uh, hear some of those great stories uh, about uh, about Floyd of Rosedale? Um, we got uh, we got some great interviews with uh, Gopher fans as well as Hawkeye fans. So uh, we need to go and get another win next week with Western Michigan. Senior Day, everybody show up that can. Cheer on television, on the radio, wherever you can. We got to get that W so we can go bowling in late December and uh, showcase the Hawkeyes. So uh, thanks for watching and have a great week. Check out the podcast uh, page there at hawkeyecast.com and go Hawks.